Blair, it's time for Let's Make Some More Vocal Stuff. Okay, this one's weird because I never thought I would do this one, but I felt compelled to. Today is working on the singing reverb. Now, that might sound confusing, but what it is, it helps voice tracks in a song pop just a little bit more when it's very vocal, but you don't want it to be too strong, but you do want it enough to have a presence. So... This is me singing on a dry track, and, um, yeah. Gonna put the world away for a minute, pretend I don't live in it. Sunshine gonna wash my blues away. It's probably as much as I can do before YouTube is like, Hey, I know that song, you can't do that. Um, it's knee deep, and, uh, dry track. It doesn't sound that great, but then again, it's my singing, so it's a little off-key. You want to go down to Studio Reverb, and I already have this set up. It is the Singing ver Reverb. You can write it however you wish, because it's a custom one. You want your room size to be 90, your decay to be 5,000 ms, your early reflections to be 40%, your width is going to stay no matter what, high frequency cut, at 5800, low frequency cut at 350, damping 35%, diffusion 70%, and you want to dry at 100 and wet at 10. So I need to do that. Bada bing, bada boom. It's gonna, it's gonna change a little bit, but. Gonna put the world away for a minute. Pretend I don't live in it. Sunshine gonna wash my blues away. There you go. So when you blend that in into a music track, it stands a little strong. Because for some reason, at least I've noticed this with dry tracks, dry singing usually ends up being melted in, I guess is the term I want to use. When you have good guitars, good drums, and just everything else that you use for music meshed in and you can't hear the singer. So this kind of helps them give them a little bit of a daunting presence, especially when it is a very lyrical song. So... There's your fun lesson for today. I Hopefully you got all those notes on that and you can go give it a try with Audition. I think Audacity can let you play around those same specs. I'm not sure, but if you do, if you can, give it a try. So, that said, thank you guys for tuning in to Let's Make Vocal Stuff. Now go be the best singers you could possibly be, not like me. Don't ever sing like me, I'm terrible. Okay, bye.